Hi there. In this video, I will show you pivot tables in Python Pandas. So most of you have seen the pivot tables, which we usually create in Excel. So it's a cross tab and has the uh, dimensions in the columns as well in rows and data is present in the middle. So you must have seen a lot of cross tabs in the Python, as I mentioned, as well as in other, you know, business intelligence system. But uh, let's see how you can create the similar cross tabs or pivot tables over here in the python with the help of python pandas and the numpy array library so for that first of all let's import the panda library and numpy library so import pandas spd import numpy as np all right and once we have done that let's go ahead and uh, get our data set which is orders that's what we have been using and here i have the script for you so it's nothing but pd.readexcel to read the excel file and read the first sheet so let's go ahead and execute this and what we are doing over here is showing first two rows so once we do that here are our first two rows and uh, now let's try to create a pivot table with the help of uh, let's say order priority so to do that what you need is uh, pd dot pivot underscore table and specify the object orders and the column name maybe sales the numeric column name and then the the column name for the let's say order priority to get the dimension on the let's say the column or the rows whatever is so by default it comes on the rows if you are not specifying two columns so we are just starting with one column and then we will move ahead with two columns so let's specify order priority and let's get the aggregate function as an p dot mean to get the average sales let's execute this and here what we have from the pivot table we have got just the simple table which i would say because in a cross tab you have columns over here as well so or over here as part of this so what we have just created is a simple tip from the pivot table for the means average sales and the order priority now let's move ahead copy this and create the proper cross tab and let's specify the second column so let's say with order priority we want to see shipping mode so the column name is ship mode and uh, you can execute this but before i execute this sometimes you are not aware what are those column names so you can use one command i'm just creating some space which is orders dot columns and hash if you execute this it will show you all of the columns name and here is the ship mode so even if you want you can copy it from here and paste it over there and uh, so that you don't have to write it and that way you will get all the column names so all of these big column names like product subcategory product based margin you can directly put it over there so for now i will just comment this and enable this and paste it over here so now it's still in a uh, form of a simple table but uh, have created a view of pivot table now let's see how you can take this shipping mode over here in the columns like a normal cross tab or a pivot table so let's take this in a proper pivot table and to do that oh, oops i just take it from there so that i don't have to really write all the syntax again and uh, what i want is two parameters which is index is equals to order priority and columns is equals to ship mode so that's pretty much all i need to do and let's execute this and now you can see you have got a proper cross tab from this function or from this settings so index is order priority over here you have the index and columns is equals to shipping mode so shipping mode is here 
and this central area is having the average value so this way you can create your cross tab and if you want to explore more what you can do is come into this function which is pivot table press shift and two times press tab and it will show you all of the features like fill value what should you fill when there is a blank and drop any margins yeah margins is a good thing i forgot to show, show you so margins is equals to false so by default it is false so what it does is it creates the it creates the total in the end over here for the uh, these rows and for here for all the columns so let's get margins is equals to true true and control enter and now you can see you are getting this all as well all here and all over here so this is nothing but the average sales for critical average sales for high is this similarly average sales for regular air is this for express air is this and for delivery truck is this so delivery truck is for sure uh, having the maximum sales average sales another thing is uh, that you want uh, this name to be changed to something else which is called subtotal or total so what you can do is uh, you can specify after margins you can specify margin underscore name and specify let's say total and press enter and now you can get the total so this way uh, if I come over here and press shift tab tab you will get all of these uh, different parameters related to this uh, function which is pd dot pivot underscore table and down there you will also get their explanations so that's pretty much all i have for you in this video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic